Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Ami's World. And that's right, I'm Ami. And today, we are back, we are back, we are back with Kizzy and Stamps. That's right, Miss Kizzy and Stamps. And we have our guest reader, Miss Jada. Hi, Ami's World. And so Jada is going to be reading to you journal number 19, so stay tuned. Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're reading Kizzy and Stamps, but by a different reader today, me, Jada Divine Door. So let's just get started. November 11th, 1963. Gosh, I hope you say I'm not trial. I know you'll say you understand, even though you won't agree about the other kids. Of course you won't. You're the teacher. I'm in another group with Laura Westover. I know I'm not supposed to complain, Miss Anderson, but couldn't you keep us apart? If she tells me to get makeup to cover my scar again, I think I'll deck her. Today, she had everybody in the group talking about scars. Keith showed us the back of his head. We were playing at college light. See? He said. My brother invented this game where he throws a bottle into the lake. At the same time, I dive in. And I'll see if I can get the bottle before it sinks to the bottom. I'm a fast diver, and I always can get it before it sinks. He's so smug, I swear. But Laura put him in his place. For once, I was happy to have her around, but not fast enough. When your left-handed cousin from New York threw the bottle, right? You, you didn't move the right way that time, and it whacked right across the back of your noggin. At least his hair covers the scar. He let us all feel it, even the black kids. It does raise up pretty nasty. His doctor wasn't near as careful as mine. But I reckon, since he knew his hair would cover it. Still, it's all lumpy. I thought Laura was going to lose her lunch. I was far more inter interested in the texture of his hair. Though, to tell the truth, it's like the softest satin I've touched. Reminded me of Shag's fur after her bath. I guess not all white folks have hair like it because Daisy Simmons commented on it. She's in crackers, but you've got nice hair, Keith, she said. I'd give a lot to have hair like this. I wash my hair in egg whites once a week to soften mine up. But it don't feel nothing like this. What you doing, boy? Keith jerked his head down like it was a hot potato. And for once, I wasn't the focus of the stairs at and the butt of all the jokes. I felt a little sorry for him, but was grateful all the same for someone else to be getting the attention, especially after Laura had talked about scars so much. And the cafeteria. I didn't realize the school had a cafeteria. The few days we haven't eaten outside, we've eaten in our room. So I just didn't know it exists. You got to eat with other teachers, so of course it was nice for you. I'm really glad. I'm sure the others liked it too. We could sit with other classes from our grade if we wanted. I just sat by myself. At least until David Warren came on down and joined me. And then the Stark Twins too. They asked about Shag. And it was like you knew because you came and told us we could go get on her. And I was so worried, but of course, she was fine. Still, it made me feel good to go see her then. David played fetch with her, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that rather beneath her. But she did it anyway because she's a kind dog, and he did mean well. Of course, that left me to make small talk with the Stark twins. Psh! At least it got me out of that echoing cafeteria. It 
was really loud. And I'm a shag. <laughs>